Hello there, everybody. It is me, Noni Moment Seven Spore, back with World of Waves Two. I don't know what's go. My desktop audio is occasionally doing stuff and then going back down. I uh, I don't know what's producing noise on there. It seems to be when I'm talking. What if I just shut up? Does it stop? I think that might be like something slightly in Rule the Waves, um, but it's so little noise I cannot tell. Anyway, yes, uh, I'm back with Rule the Waves 2 where we find out what happens when we get torpedo bombers. What time of day is it? Midday? Ready the strike? It's midday, right? Yeah, that's midday. So... Interestingly, it looks like uh, there's a small merchant up over here, which we can sink. Our goal is to destroy a bombardment target near Takao. Uh, to accomplish this, we have the armored cruisers Hogue and King Alfred. These are both King Alfred class armored cruisers. Uh, 22 knots, 8 10-inch gun broadside, uh, 12 10-inch guns total. Which, you know, those will be very good at uh, performing tasks of this sort. And Japan only has, like, one armored cruiser, so if we're encountering that, it's not a big deal. If it's, you know, something smaller, it has to be... What what does Japan actually have right now? Yeah, if it's something smaller than a CA, then it either has to be an armed merchant cruiser... Which, yeah, that's going to die quickly. A float, plane ca a float plane tender, which, yeah, I would not expect that to last particularly long. Or a destroyer. Or corvettes. These are not ships which will last long in the line of fire. Um, unless they do have... Unless they did spawn battlecruisers here, that would be concerning. Um... I think all their battlecruisers are trying to stop the blockade, though. And they're hopefully trapped. But if they're not trapped, that could be bad. Um, yeah. Although, that being said, you know... I mean, they are well-armed battlecruisers, but they're not particularly... Uh, they're kind of well-armored. Yeah, they, they'd probably beat my uh, CAs. Although I do have destroyers, I do have torpedo bombers, and the torpedo bombers on Audacity are going to be my big advantage. Uh, in addition to that, we have two float plane tenders, and actually... Okay, so we're apparently searching this way for enemies. Um... Now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reduce the distance. And actually get, like, way more of a search arc. There we go. Got, like, a Pac-Man sort of search arc going. Uh, out in front, we also have the uh, Cruiser HMS Adventure, lead ship of the newly commissioned Adventure class, which has just arrived to this area, as well as some destroyers. I think these are Oak, Oak and Hydra class. Destroyers, it looks like. Anyway, I think the very first step is I'm going to take manual control over Audacity and send her up here to bully this merchant. She has like four or five inch guns, and hopefully the destroyers can do something about it. Um, we are pretty close to uh, the bombardment target, so... That should allow for, uh, some stuff. Alright. Audacity has opened fire. Destroyers have gone in. Midge scores a hit. Uh, Midge, Nemesis, and Achati score a hit. Nemesis is scoring hits. Audacity has scored a hit on, a mer on the merchant. It looks like, uh... I think the merchant's down. Alright, Audacity, go back to AI control. 
Okay, we have a confirmed enemy ship in front of us. Unsure as to what its idea ID is. Um, what's the status on the float plane tenders? Uh, can I look that up? No, not there. There. Uh, okay, so they have planes ready. Um, yeah, recon. Strike exceeds deck load. Yes, I do. I do want them to stop and launch float planes. Indeed, as an armed merchant cruiser. Medium merchant class. Something else over here. Looks like a Corvette. You got recon firing off or going off from the uh, carrier, it looks like. Merchant's been stopped. We got something else steaming down to the south. Another merchant. Got a patrol boat. Got a 9 inch coastal battery. That's, that is the most dangerous thing here so far. I'm going to see if I can just stay out of range of it. Looks like we've sunk that patrol boat. One battle cruiser. Uh, BB. Target. That. Launch. All right. Uh, yes to all. Strike. Oh, no, wait, no. The cap is up. Bombardment target's destroyed. What I want to do is I want to pull my ships this way. Yes, I do. Stop and launch float planes. I want to get an ID on whatever's down here. Although I also do want to pursue this. When's our strike going out? Because I see the cap group. I don't see the str Oh! Strike's taken off. I'm going to try to uh, hit whatever... Oh god, it's down here now. So it seems like they're saying it is a uh, battle cruiser of some description. Good news is it looks like Adventure has found the medium merchant. Approaching enemy ships. What are they torpedo bombing? Enemy CL, they're saying? And now saying enemy trader. Alright, so they have found a merchant down there. What do they need to... Oh, they are saying enemy BC. And that's probably what just got hit multiple times. Yeah, that's the same ship. We put three torpedoes into something down here. And whatever it is, it seems to be ID'd as a BC. Achatis has spotted a submarine over here. What is that report? What is... Okay. So we've only ID'd like one battle cruiser. Hmm. 
Hmm. I have no idea what we hit. The recon is landing on that. Recon's not ready yet. Virginia stops for float plane launch. What are you guys doing? Okay, yeah, you're port group, so you're hanging out more with the carrier. Okay, so we only have one ready. I have no idea what we hit. I'm going to slow down to 18 knots. Strikes landed. Um, ready another one. Like, we definitely hit something. We have no idea what we hit. Okay, so we're reporting a battle cruiser moving that way. TR. Most recent report is... Are these two. Doing a battle cruiser moving into Takao. Presumably, if those two are sighted, that would mean that there's direction here. We got another report. Trader. Uh, Sandfly is picking up survivors from that merchant. Okay. Yes, I do. I want to keep scouting going. Yes. One DD, one TR. Okay. So. Oh. Okay, so it's clear that our uh, planes are seeing so Hogue sights an unknown ship. Fuck! Alright, um... It's not crippling yet. But that enemy submarine just hit Audacity. Um... Fuck. Venture site's an unknown ship. So there's something hanging around Takao right now. Unsure what it is. Now this group is going back down here to meet us, um, I don't think Audacity is in any danger right now, from what I, from what I can see, but she needs to stop hanging around there. Uh, I think you guys need to be a screen on Audacity. Alright, so, when we were talking about those ships, I think that's what these are. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to... Nope, we can't. Alright. Stand down. Striking below deck. Audacity's new goal is going to be to form as a core group on Hogue. Hogue will slow down to cruise and head this way. Nemesis is avoiding torpedo. Fucking. Yeah, okay, we lost a destroyer. Yeah. Fucking hell. Stop hanging around there, you f absolute morons. Nemesis has spotted a submarine. So the, they just have a submarine operating around there. Nobody could go in and sink it. Uh, thankfully, the carrier group is now rejoining with us. So uh, we're just going to depart. We're just going to depart. I'm going to move at 10 knots just to make sure that that carrier is not overspeeding. God damn it, though. Luck, lucky, lucky sub. Lucky enemy sub, we 
none of our destroyers were able to just find it or anything, and it just... Yeah, it did some significant damage. Um, yeah, on the scenario. Okay, so they did have a battle cruiser out, and we did do damage to it. Um, and, you know, achieved our objective. So, only one torpedo hit. Only one. Yeah, torpedo from Audacity. What the hell did we report the extra torpedoes on? So, Audacity took a torpedo from I-28, which was confirmed sunk. You took a torpedo from... I-28 as well. What sank I-28? I-28 got mined at the end. We destroyed the installation. I-28 did not come out of it alive. We sank that merchant. We sank that merchant. We sank this merchant. This patrol boat we sank. You lying bastards! You reported... Three torpedo hits and you scored one. Two of those were false reports. Oh my god. Um, I mean, it's still a victory, but... Seriously? 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 Well, it's good to know that they do have a battle cruiser down here. Um, and it is damaged now, so that's excellent. And we did, you know sink a bunch of other stuff of achieve our objectives but yeah anno annoying japanese submarine yep we gained a prestige point i'm gonna do i'm gonna call it the bombardment patrol is commissioned into the navy good moza and sakhalin um we torpedoed and sank an enemy corvette. They're commissioning a lot of corvettes. They're still blockaded. Um, what I'm trying to figure out is why haven't we broken uh, Sakhalin yet? Oh, hey, our monthly balance is positive. Uh, time to resume construct. Part of me is like time to resume construction on Inconstant, but like they are building. You know, a lot of subs. Um, might get another group of subs going here. And uh, keep in constant halted at the very least on... Oh no, Estrella's not going to save many funds. Neither are the Lances. Um, okay. So I'm going to go with a 1,300 ton destroyer here, go to normal, which is kind of what I wanted to get, and in, yeah, increase depth charge storage, get the extra gun. Is there anything else I can get? Oh yeah, increased elevation is good. Hmm. I could get a centerline torpedo launcher, that would help, but... Yeah, I think this is better. Just a new name, the Lasso class. So slightly heavier. Um, we'll start producing those, get more destroyers in service. Because, yeah, that, that's pretty necessary. Um... Alright, uh, so the last thing I want to do real quickly is look at the possibility of pulling one of the battle cruisers from Northeast Asia back. Um, part of me wants that to be like either invincible or indomitable. Yeah. I mean, we were facing what? That? I think I'd need both, probably. Although, again, I do have the carrier. Um, okay, so that one's gonna, you know, that one needs to uh, repair another turn now. Audacity needs, you know, fix the damage. Um, 
Well, air groups wise, what's yeah, we got some air groups to do over there too. Uh probably more torpedo bombers and uh probably also get some stuff at Hong Kong. Because we have fighters. Oh yeah, no, the extra fighter group at Hong Kong is gonna go to Harwick. Uh I'm going to I'll probably copy the air group from Sing Town and put it on Hong Kong. Because Hong Kong is a strategically relevant location in all this. Um, although I'll probably give it more uh, more float planes. Aircraft types. We do have a float plane scout request in progress. Okay, so yeah, I gotta do that. Um, I gotta pull a couple battle cruisers out too, which would probably be these two. Yeah, you two go to Southeast Asia. Um, Dreadnought and Hood, I think, are going to go into Northeast Asia. So we're going to rot... Basically, we're rotating out the Indomitables and rotating in the Dreadnoughts. Because um, I, I think that, you know, having a couple of the lesser battlecruisers in the lesser region is going to be fine. And then we have our... You know, even if we are going to face stronger Japanese forces in, uh, or, you know, if we face stronger Japanese forces, even if we have, you know, one less battlecruiser than them, you know, Lion, Leopard, and both of the Illustriouses are a better battlecruiser than anything they have. All four of those are, you know, better than any respective Japanese battlecruiser. Lion will beat the best Japanese battlecruiser. And then... Well, I would say Leopard's better, but she's a little slower. But the Illustriouses are also significantly better. Well, also about the same, actually. Oh, no, I think they're a little better armored and, of course, faster. So, yeah. That's the current plan. Try to uh, win over Takao and... You know, if we win over Takao, I don't think I need to base anything in Southeast Asia. I think at that point it's full force Northeast Asia. Let's, you know, win it. Um, in terms of CLs, I do still have the Charybdis class there, but it looks like a couple of them are starting to get old. They are worked up, though. You know what? I'm going to send a couple of these in for a rebuild ones which are currently old. Part of me wants to do something where, you know, I get above water torpedo tubes on these. There's not much of a spot to put them in. D and E. D and E could work. Uh you know, if I delete these mounts and then increase these tubes. I can get this. Yeah, this could work. We'll carry a few mines extra and, of course, increased elevation. And that, you know, kind of helps the Charybdis class cruiser a bit. Won't take long to build, won't cost much to build. So, okay, so yeah, cycle out a couple Charybdis class cruisers in terms of the new CLs. Um, Pathfinder and Patrol are immediately going to move down to Southeast Asia. Um, it won't get the full time to work up. And right now, a tentative is also, you know, in the process of moving down there. Okay, so I think the last thing we need to do is air groups, and then I'm going to call the episode to a close, and uh, we'll see what we get next time. So, these are waiting on the next carrier. That would be Estrella. Um, these will go to Estrella over at Sing Tao. Um, in all these places, we need to add more aircraft. So, Sing Tao is going to need. Um, 
Well, I mean, we could just... I say we expand the Torpedo Bomber Squadron. Well, no, I say we expand both the Fighter and Torpedo Bomber Squadron. So, Fighter Squadron, change number, you should be 12. Change number, you should be 12. Um, that gives us 32, which means that we can add another air unit of 8 torpedo bombers, I think. Um, so copy that air group and paste it at Hong Kong. Although at Hong Kong, I'm probably going to increase the number of flying... Or at Hong Kong, I'm probably going to change the number of fighters to 8 and increase the number of flying boats to 12. Now, down here, um, I'm just going to add... Here, I'm just going to add another fighter air unit at 8, and then add a uh, torpedo bomber unit at 12. Um, same here. Fighter unit of 8. Torpedo bomber unit of 12. And yeah, this will just be a fighter unit of 8, and then a uh, torpedo bomber unit of 12. Okay. Like, Gorskov has slightly less torpedo bombers than the other ones, but oh well. If we look at our aircraft types, um, we got Beauforts and Defiance, and we do have, like, enough of those on standby right now, so I'm not super concerned. And Barracuda Cs are you know, going to be pretty good since it's a C variant of a fighter. Those are usually pretty strong. All right. I think, I think that does it for this episode. Everything is sorted. Uh, yeah. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Links to my discord, Twitch, and Twitter down below if you're interested in any of those things. And I think those should be working now. All right. No, they, I think they were always working with this series, but I'd have to like double check. Um, yeah. Bye.